Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to take some great photos under the rain, under the fog, bad weather. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Remily. I'm a French photographer living in the sunshine of Los Angeles. But right now, there is no sunshine. It's raining. There's fog. I'm hiking. It's dangerous. But I'm going to try to get some awesome photos. I love fog because it gives you the opportunity to add depth to your photo and uh, it's a really cool time to play around so follow me under this very dangerous weather and let's see if we can pull off some great photos guys come on All right, guys, so uh, this is the photo that I got, uh, you know, under this crazy rain. I was expecting to I actually wanted to climb up all the way to the Hollywood sign, but it was so much raining, so much fog that I decided to, you know, c uh, go back. And um, so let me show you some of the photos uh, that I got. Uh, I like this one. So I was shooting with a 24-240, which is really cool because you can really punch in. Now, the problem with the 24-240 is that uh, you need to be very careful on what you focus. For example, on this one, I made a mistake. I wanted, I had the other focus on, I shot this at 172 millimeter, and you see it focused here on this hill, and so the downtown is completely blurry. I mean, it can still make a, you know, a cool photo. Uh, on this one, I would probably go black and white or something. So usually what I do is I just test some of my black and white settings. Let me see here. Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to give you a link actually for all my black and white uh, preset if you want to have them. Uh, they are free. So let's see here. Maybe this one, just so you get an idea, you know, and then on any of my presets, you have to move the circles around or erase them. In this case, I think I'm going to erase this one, erase this one, and um, put this one maybe in the middle, erase this one, and I'm going to take this dust here out. I like to go fast, you know, when I do retouching. And, you know, okay, that's kind of like whatever, you know. It's not the, the, my favorite photo. There's one you'll see that I really liked a lot more later on. I shot a lot the Lake Hollywood, you know. We were, like, basically really in the cloud. This one I don't really like so much. This this one is kind of cool, but it's got no colors. So not, you know, I've got this rule that if there is no colors, I usually go black and white. But here is the cool photos. Uh, as we climb up to the wisdom tree, so that's called the wisdom tree in L.A., which is on the way to the Hollywood sign. Uh, there was this flag here with this beautiful view of the lake. And I, and I think it turned out to be the best photo. So let me show you what I did. So the uh, basic retouching. I just open up the shadows, bring down my highlights. I'm do, uh, you know, I do my regular workflow, white, maybe even boost the highlights a little bit. And on this one, I think what I did is I went and added. I wanted to get like some movie looks to it. So if you want to get a movie look, what you can do, it's very easy. You go into the split toning, and you add a bit of green. I added a bit of green. So you've got three types of Hollywood. Look. You've got the blue look. You've got the tilt look. Or you got the green look, you know, and I think I went somewhere in between, something like this. Uh, and then, so that's for the shadows. For the highlights, you have to go to reverse. You have to take something kind of warm, okay? And uh, so that's what I basically did here on this one. And then I added some contrast. Let me redo this one so you see. I th uh, this one I really liked also. Uh, so I'm going to reset it. And then I'm just, you know, going to do this. So open up the shadows, whites, black, highlights. I go fast, contrast, maybe add a bit of clarity on this one. You know, uh, lower the highlights maybe. 
and then you go right into uh, you know this Hollywood look. Uh, and I think it turned out right. It looks like, a, you know, from a movie. I really like the, the, the final result. Let me see if I can recreate it. Uh, added a lot of green there and a little bit of warmth in the highlights. Yeah, something like this. And then you can just play with balance here. If you go on the left, it's going to go more green. On the right, it's going to go more warm, you know. And one thing you can do is if you're retouching a photo, you need a reference photo, you can click here and right click and set as reference photo. So that's that's the one I originally retouch, okay? And now I have this one. I can go here, and so on the left here, I, I just click on R A for reference, and let me just put this away. So on that's the reference photo, and that's the one I'm retouching. Because every time I retouch a photo, you know, I get a different feeling. So on this one, I guess the saturation was much lower. Uh, you know, I I think I desaturated the photo a lot. I think I went too much in the greens here. They are too saturated. So let me see, I can go here and just, if you lower your greens, you're gonna take some of the saturation out. You just want a little bit of green, something like that. And then um, uh, on this one also, uh, um, okay, oh yeah, I wanna crop it and it's gonna exit me out of the reference. That's fine. I wanna crop it in 16 by nine. And, uh, and then I think I changed the white balance. I made it a little bit warmer. And you know you can add. I can make this little top of sky a little darker, uh, you know, by going to exposure. It's funny because every time I retouch a photo, it's hard to get the same result. You know, it's every every time I prepare a tutorial, I always get a bit of a different result. But I kind of like that. I think I'm going to boost the whites over here a little bit. You know, I kind of wanted like an end of uh, the end of time thing. Uh, so another one I did same retouching. I used that and. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. If you want to uh, reuse a look that you like, uh, you can go here, and I'm actually gonna give you this preset. If you like that Hollywood preset, I'm gonna go here to plus, and I'm gonna create a Hollywood look, and um, and I'm gonna give you the presets. All I do is I, I click here, create preset. I'm gonna put it into user preset, and you will be able to download the presets. You can just apply that look to a photo if you like that, and voila. So. Let me show you the other photos that I got from this trip. Uh, yeah, that was kind of like, I didn't know what to do with that. It was, you know, the foreground is kind of messy, the background. You know, I like to also show like bad photos. This one I kind of liked, you know, because it was like really a, a lot of rain over uh, some part of, uh, of LA. Uh, this one was really dark, but I like the leading ways here. But, you know, I would eventually go black and white on it. But honestly, I did, that's another one I kind of liked also. But, you know, the problem with these photos is that they don't really have a definite foreground. It's just like middle ground and background, and there's no colors. So when there's no colors, I either go black and white, or I go like Hollywood, like I did. And the last one I want to show you is this one. And, you know, it was kind of okay, but the colors were not great. So at the end of the day, the, the one I really like, I gave it a three star or two star, I think. It's really this one, you know. And uh, by using this Hollywood look, uh, or eventually this one is kind of cool. Let me show them to you in full screen. Voila, so that's the one that I really, really liked. And the other one that I really, really like is this one. All right, guys, I want to make a little game with you uh, where I want you to see, I want to see some of your best bad weather photos. And please post them on Instagram and just write in the comments, follow at Photosurge. This way I can see your photo and I'm going to pick a winner in about a, a week after this video is released and I'm gonna put it on my Instagram and ask my 54,000 followers to follow you. So if you wanna increase your presence on Instagram, just post a photo of a bad weather photo. You can use the Hollywood look, you can use the black and white look, whatever you feel like it, as long as it's bad weather. And, and just type follow at photo search and I will pick a winner and I will ask all my followers to follow you. All right, guys. Now, in case you don't know, I just came up with one of my best course ever, which is called my Workflow 2018. I wanted to show you what it is about. Here it is. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Romani. I'm a French photographer living in Los Angeles, and I want to talk to you about my new Workflow course 2018. What it is is the best technique I have found to, for example, do uh, panoramas in Lightroom and Photoshop. For example, I'm going to show you how to erase complex elements like this whole tree to get this end result of panorama. 
this photo, which is, uh, you know, the before in Lightroom, retouch it into Lightroom and into Luminar to get this result. How to find the right sky, for example, for like a blue hour photo or for like more sunset photo. How to use also Lightroom and Luminar to really make your sunset photo pop. How to make crazy, 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 crazy uh, panoramas that don't work in Lightroom in Photoshop and add Luminar for a little impact. How to make crazy fine art black and white like this once or like this one. I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to accumulate the light rays and really make your night photography pop. And then the last but not least, I'm going to show you a little technique where I'm going to retouch a raw file for the bottom of the photo in Lightroom, the top of the photo in Lightroom, and then blend everything into Photoshop and then just go to Luminar to get this result. I'm also going to show you a little dramatic effect that you can easily get using Lightroom. You will learn all my secrets on Lightroom, Photoshop, Luminar, and Aurora into one single course. No. Oh, one second. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it one thumbs up. Also, don't forget, Leave me in a comment anything you want to learn on photography, on Lightroom, on Photoshop, on plugins. I will do my best to fulfill your wishes. Uh, yes. Yeah, R2 says don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to click the little bell so you get a notification every time a video comes out. See you in another video and may the force be with you. R2, please say goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>